Well, hello and welcome one and all to what is a very special day on the English football scene. It's the day Arsenal meet Manchester United, two giant institutions of the game that also happen to be amongst its most decorated. This a fixture which has been globally recognised as one of the defining rivalries of recent years. Rivalry often personal between managers and players, and down to the fact that both have so excelled. Every game akin to gladiatorial combat and decorated with wonderful attacking football, crunching physicality. Faces have come and gone and rivalry has entered into a new era, but there is one thing that and never changes, and that is the fact that neither of these sides can Number bear 19. the idea of losing to the other. And that on its own, a factor six. sufficient to make this utterly unmissable. So red and white, of course, Number the preeminent colours at Old Trafford, Number which is now Officially the largest club Number football ground in England, its capacity sure. 75,000 and growing. Well, this is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. So it's away we go then. One Bissaka. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, Peter, I'm a huge fan of Bukayo Saka. Someone always praised for his versatility, his attitude and, and his cleverness around the pitch. He has the potential to excel in, in all positions across that front line. But I'd personally like to see him as part of a, a front three. I think he operates best in that area. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Casemiro, and there's his chance to lead the counter. And it's played forward. Interesting ball. Unketia. Here's the cross. Havertz. Well, it's a move of great promise, but will it really prove productive? He's tried one! Oh, that was no routine save! Rice simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And it's been taken short. And now a sudden chance to counter. Defenders on the back foot. Martinelli. Some terrific running on the ball there. Those efforts are not going unappreciated. And that's clear cut, it's a free kick. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. Footballing with usually identifies with running room, and we've just seen a prime example. Big chance! And he nearly went all the way. What a chance, a huge chance. He couldn't have set it up any better. Great chance! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Rafael Varane. Anthony. And it's Casemiro. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. And the shot! A skipper's goal! 
listen, you don't get lucky in doing what he just has. It comes from an inner desire and competitiveness to work on the moments that can elevate his game and this game. It was a great finish. He put it away with great poise, dead eye accuracy. Now that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Manchester United take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Saka. Two and now the ball has been indicated. Oh, should really have made more of that. Yeah, that was really sharp. That kind of delivery can play havoc with defences. Played out to the left flank. Rice. And we've reached half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It's job. And please welcome Manchester United to the come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. There's the start of the second half. Manchester United really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Manchester United trying to orchestrate a breakaway here by the looks of it. Well, I would say that this is probably the easiest way to play the game because you try and absorb in numbers defensively and then you look to hit it with a long ball quickly on the counter-attack to get your men in behind the opposition defence. Just looking for that one telling pass. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Played out to the right. One Bissaka. Mount. Being still separated by the game's only goal. Anthony. Good take by the keeper. He's read that well. The attendance for this match was 72,306. Nketiah. Timber. Bout of passing here, really easy on the eye. Clips it so, so gently. Now it's Martinelli. Arsenal are definitely going about this the right way. They're coming again and again. Spot on, Peter. And that has fair fizzed. Oh, the contact was as crisp as it comes. The direction was the issue. Substitutions taking place. So here comes the substitution. Rice. Spread out to the left. Arsenal finding their passes. Oh, he'd have done well to reach that. Arsenal really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. Shaw. Sure. The only breakthrough then came late in the first half here, and that is the difference. And the score is 1-0. Martinez. Manchester United still ahead by the game's only goal. Now it's Saka. Now it's Saka. Arsenal need to give it everything they have. Kitchen sink. Saka has got himself a free kick. Well, some of the players here are letting their emotions get the better of them. They do have to be careful. This must not be inflamed any further. an absolute peach we thought it was over it's all square once more well that was wonderful in every regard vision concept 
and considerable accuracy. Well, he made it look effortless. Clearly a training ground perfectionist. All square again into the dying minutes. At a time. Gabriel, it's Gabriel Jesus! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it's... Martinez. He's beaten the last man. They're avoiding. So that's it. It is all over. A game chock full of moments and talking points. It could have gone either way, but chose in the end to share its spoils. It ends in a highly entertaining. So many of these games that just flew by. There was great excitement in, in the match, and it, it kept everybody guessing which way it was going to turn. I think in the end, I, I doubt that there'll be much.